Welcome to Letting Grow, the podcast about one of the spiritual journey's most difficult and courageous moments, letting go of who we think we should be so we can grow into who we most deeply are. I'm your host, Claire Villarreal, and I appreciate your joining me today. Hi friends, when you listen to this, it'll be Christmas week. So instead of doing a regular podcast episode, I wanted to share a couple of recommendations for you because if you have a little extra time and you want some reading or you'd like a good movie to watch, I wanna help you out with that. And this actually ties into an idea I have for 2021. Um, I'd like to do a book club or a movie club type episode. So I am curious to hear what you think about these two that I'm gonna recommend. So one is a book, one is a movie and they're both wonderful, they're both favorites of mine. The book I'm gonna recommend to you is called In Love With The World, and it's by Mingyur Rinpoche. You'll find the titles for both of these in the notes. In Love With The World is the account of a Buddhist master leaving behind his identity as a Buddhist master and going out on a wandering retreat. And he really, Mingyur Rinpoche really brings in the ideas of bardo states and how you really apply the teachings in real life to his story. It's really, really good. And I'll just read you the description quickly from the book's Amazon page. At 36 years old, Yonggi Mingyu Rinpoche was a rising star within his generation of Tibetan masters and the respected abbot of three monasteries. Then one night, telling no one, he slipped out of his monastery in India with the intention of spending the next four years on a wandering retreat, following the ancient practice of holy mendicants. His goal was to throw off his titles and roles in order to explore the deepest aspects of his being. Sound familiar? Process of death? Bardo of clear light? He immediately discovered that a lifetime of Buddhist education and practice had not prepared him to deal with dirty fellow travelers or the screeching of a railway car. He found he was too attached to his identity as a monk to remove his robes right away or to sleep on the Varanasi station floor and instead paid for a bed in a cheap hostel. But when he ran out of money, he began his life as an itinerant beggar in earnest. Soon he became deathly ill from food poisoning and his journey took a startling turn. His meditation practice had prepared him to face death and now he had the opportunity to test the strength of his training. In this powerful and unusually candid account of the inner life of a Buddhist master, Yonge Mingyu Rinpoche offers us the invaluable lessons he learned from his near-death experience. By sharing with readers the meditation practices that sustain him, he shows us how we can transform our fear of dying into joyful living. I really enjoy this book and I'm curious to hear your comments, your questions, so please write me. You'll find my email address in the info box if you're watching on YouTube or below this episode if you're listening in a podcast app. Next is the movie that I wanna recommend for your holiday viewing. It's really heartwarming, it has amazing scenery, really wonderful filmmaking, I just highly recommend it. It's called Unmistaken Child. And you'll find a link to the movie where you can buy it or or rent it in the show notes again, Um, or you might also be able to find it on various streaming platforms. I got it on Amazon. So I'll start by just reading the description of the movie to you. In 2001, Master Lama Konchok, one of the greatest Tibetan meditators of our times, passed away. Unmistaken Child follows the four-year spellbinding journey of Tibetan Buddhist monk Denzin Zopa as he travels far and wide to identify the child who is the reincarnation of his deceased master. Assisted by astrology, signs in dreams, and the whispers of villagers, Denzin travels by helicopter, mule, and foot to look for the unmistaken child, knowing that if he succeeds, he must also convince the boy's parents to release their child into his care. Visually stunning and emotionally gripping, Unmistaken Child is the first real-time documentation of the search for a reincarnated master, revealed to us through the eyes of a sincere and passionate Buddhist disciple. It's so good, it's so heartwarming. I still kind of cry every time I watch it. I highly recommend it. So those are my content recommendations if you're looking for something good to read or watch over this holiday week. And I look forward to rejoining you next week with a regular podcast episode. I'm wishing you a very happy end of 2020 and an auspicious beginning to 2021. Bye y'all. 
Thanks for coming along for today's exploration of the process of letting grow. If you found this episode helpful, please share it. And subscribe now wherever you listen to podcasts so you're always in the loop. For links to more content related to today's episode, please see the show notes. See you again next week. Oh,